doing my muffins like this. Team Taylor. This is my first finished object. Look at it, it's so cute. It's like a book sleeve in effect. Hey team, welcome to HGDC, HD Designs Crochet. I'm Heather and this is my channel all about the granny square and motherhood and everything in between. If you are brand new, hi, hello and welcome and thank you for giving my channel and HGDC a chance. Really hope that you enjoy this vlog and if you're returning, hey, what's good, what's happening? I hope that you're tickety-boo. Today is a sit down vlog. I'm going to show you everything I've worked on this month, uh, finished objects, everything that's been going on inside HGDC and all that good stuff. A little apology, my microphone is not working and I put it on charge hoping that that would sort it out. It's not sorted it out and time is ticking so we are just going to crack on and I'm going to try and raise my voice but without like shouting at you. <laughs> Hope it's okay. What should we talk about first? Hello Albus. I'm gonna go straight to Inside HGDC and talk about all of the amazing things that have been happening this month. This month, August 2024, I did a huge pattern drop. There were seven patterns in total, and I wanna say an absolutely huge, massive thank you to every single person that shopped the collection, every single person that has signed up to my subscription, every single person that has liked, commented, shared, and everything. Like, thank you for favoriting them on Ravelry, thank you for favoriting them on Etsy, thank you for leaving me reviews, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. There's that much to share on the pattern drop that it needs to be its own video. It really does. I've learned so much. There was so much going on, so much to unpack. It needs its own video. I did a little debrief on Instagram talking about how the pattern drop went. And even that, I felt like I could just keep going and going and going. The main points of that post were that I had two goals. My biggest goal was to complete this pattern drop in a way that vibed with my home life. I didn't want it to be that HGDC completely wipes out my mothering and wifing and homemaking and all of those like I needed them all to play nicely I needed it to be in such a way that I wasn't dealing with burnout or too much overwhelm or fatigue or like it needs to be sustainable I needed to be happy it needed to work in such a way that supported my home life and that is an incredibly subjective mission. Like it's not numbed, it's not numbers, it's not qualitative. It's how I feel. And I can say that I give myself an eight out of 10 on that goal. I feel as if I did really, really well, especially in comparison to last year. There's no poorliness, there's no burnout, there's no fatigue. There was still tears, there was still overwhelm, but a lot of that was just because of life things going on as well in the background. And without those, this wouldn't have felt so heavy. There was also quite a bit of, I touched upon this in the post, the last couple of years of pregnancy, labor, motherhood, has really, really, really flipped my head. Like, I've always had anxiety to deal with, but since pregnancy, since everything I've been through, since dealing with trauma, in effect, since 
being traumatised for 10 months of my life, I have found that inside my mind is not a nice place to be and yeah, I got a lot of work to do on that. A lot to say and a lot of work to do and I ended my post by saying I want next year to be more gentle parent, like my inner talk to be more gentle parent. I want to be kinder to myself and I want to smile more and enjoy it more. This year didn't feel as much fun as last year. I missed the photo shoot and I will say like next year I want there to be a photo shoot. I want there to be I really, really want to hire like an Airbnb and have like my testy besties come and we all just sit and crochet together and celebrate. And then we can like have a little mini photo shoot ourselves with our finished objects and we can just sit and crochet and enjoy the night. And I also feel that, you know, this could change, but right now I'm thinking Ted will be three next year and that I'd be able to spend that time away from him and enjoy it. And if I, if I feel like I can't enjoy it, then maybe we can look at hiring a couple of locations, like a couple of, do you know what I mean? Like a couple of, um, I can't think of what I'm trying to say. Basically, I could have Teddy and Brad nearby so that I could spend the night with them still, but that I could have that time, like Airbnb, crochet, chill, finished objects, nibbles, crochet chat, just crochet, crochet, crochet. I really, really want that to happen as well. Oh, wouldn't that just be amazing? That would be... I don't know if anybody would want to come to it. I'm hoping, I think Georgia would, I think Lou would. Like, I think a few of you would. I want that to happen. My other goal was a small financial goal which I did briefly talk about in some of my previous vlogs and I am £40 away from my goal which is just four subscription sign-ups or or that is five iconic bag sales so I am quietly confident that that is achievable between now and the end of August and it is the and today is the 19th of August so I am hoping that that will be achievable. Having said that, I know that an order went through today. So I'm probably like £35 away now. And I will add as well that the small goal, I want that to be much bigger this time next year. But obviously I've got different things to put in place to build that up. And again, I did say that I'm considering doing a whole vlog on finances. So, I feel a little bit torn just because it is quite personal and I don't want like, I don't want to feel like I'm exposing myself. I don't potentially want to get roasted <laughs> when I share my stats and whatnot. And so I'm just figuring out like, how can I share that with you, but without sharing it with maybe some of the more undesirable people. I don't know whether to set up a YouTube subscription and make it like 99p and then each month I talk about the financial side. And again, I don't know how useful that would be. I don't know if people want to just see the reality or if they want only to hear from people that are earning like 10,000 a month or whatever. I, I guess I could give it a go and I'm not fussed about it making money I just figured that if I put it behind a paywall it will keep some of the trolls away I'm not gonna lie like I don't particularly want the people that I know in real life watching it but I'm more than happy for you lot to know because I know this is what you want to do in the future hmm. so I need to figure that out the seven patterns that I dropped, I'm really, really pleased with every single one. And I'm really, really proud that I got all the admin done as well. Because that was a big old job. 
So I released Iconic, which you can see here. This was released as an individual pattern. And let me just say right now that the bags are the best sellers. And I had a suspicion that they would be. And that is definitely confirmation that the subscription is the way forward because pretty much 80% of the sales was a bag in whichever form. So I released Iconic as a standalone pattern. I released um, my Granny Square Mirror, which is actually the other way around at the moment. And I released my Granny Square Art and my Granny Square Key Ring. It's actually facing that way because I have a studio light behind the tripod today and you would just be, I would basically be blinding you. <laughs> I released all three of those individually and also as my home mini granny square collection. And I've had sales and I suspected that it would get sales, but I knew it wouldn't be as popular. So I'm really glad that I created that collection because we all love it and we're all getting so much out of it. But also I'm glad that I put the bags out there. I love making the bags. I had so many ideas for bags this morning that I'm just like, everybody go away. I just want to crochet. Just leave me alone. Let me crochet. <laughs> I also released the Amore cushion as an individual pattern, which has actually been, I would say after the bags, the second most popular. And since I brought it down to show you on the vlog, it has lived here and it's not going anywhere. We love snuggling them. And I just, I just, I love the way it looks. Um, we'll get to this one. We'll get to this one. I also released this one. This is called Allure. Oh, it's a granny square mini tote and it makes the perfect project bag. It's just big enough to pop in like a ball of yarn or a couple of balls of yarn and your whip. Hook, don't lose the hook. And away you go. I released Allure as the first pattern of my bag subscription. And it has been the most popular out of everything I listed. The most popular. I'm so excited for it because this is a game changer for HDDC. Not only does it mean that I'm going to have reoccurring revenue each month so long as each person wishes to continue to stay signed up but it also means that I'm going to be able to have crochet chats with each and every single one of you that is part of the subscription every second month and that's a little bit of that Airbnb vibe that I really want just that crochet chat the chill the community <sighs> right now I'm going to be doing the chats at home, but in the future, I'm tempted to do them at a hotel because then I can just, I've got this, I've got this craving for a little bit of me time where I'm just, everyone just leaves me alone and I'm just surrounded by yarn, really beautiful food, comfy clothing some sort of something that I want to watch or listen to and just crochet, have the chat and then just a full night's sleep when nobody wheezes on me <laughs> because nobody's nappy has failed and I just get to wake up when I want to wake up and I wake up feeling refreshed and I can just really focus on some of these ideas that are in my head and I know without a doubt that I won't be doing it anytime soon because I don't want to, I don't want to be away from my baby that long right now, but I know that time is coming and that is something that I want to do. I'm going to put a little bit of the money that I've made from this sale aside 
And I'm gonna keep doing that each month so that once I feel that I'm in a position to do that, I can put that into place and we can have the chat and then I can just enjoy that time. I also released my victory skirt as a standalone pattern and yeah, that's all seven of them. I've had victory go through as a solo pattern as well. Like people have purchased that on its own. So it's really interesting to see which patterns people have been waiting for and which patterns people were most excited to get. The day that I put the pattern out was a little bit of an anticlimax. It didn't have the fireworks and like the fizz and the excitement that I wanted. I very much did the drop and then I switched straight back into Mama Mode and had the nap. I'm always here for a nap. But then in the afternoon, there wasn't really anything like celebratory to mark the occasion. And so it felt a little bit flat. Like I just went and did the laundry and just did stuff around the house that needed doing. And I said to Brad, like, that happened last year where this launch goes out and then there's no celebration. And I want to celebrate. I want this to be a big thing. Because it is a big thing. Like, not only am I the default parent, not only I am, am I the mama, like, almost 24-7. On average, Teddy spends five hours away from me per week. So everything I get done, I get done with and around him. I do a lot when he's awake, I do a lot when he's napping, and I do a little bit in the evenings. And I want to celebrate the fact that I'm making this work because it's a huge, huge achievement. At the start of the year, I wasn't even sure if HDDC was going to continue. Obviously, I can't go back and redo Thursday, but what we did do is we had a big pink celebration on the Saturday. And originally, in my mind, I wanted to do it the Thursday, but I felt like I had too much that I needed to get done. I can see my baby coming back. And I'm st I need another 20 minutes. It's five o'clock. Hang on, hang on. Abs, Matt. Matt. Oh boy, I've got to get this done. <laughs> I've just dispatched them for another 20 minutes to get this finished. It's because I had the microphone issues at the start and I was delayed getting started. Anyways, we had the pink celebration on the Saturday. With hindsight, and if I'm honest with myself, I wanted it on a Thursday. So next time I just need to be like, this needs to happen, we're going to make it happen. Albus, no! This is not the time for crying, boy. Lie down. Here. Come here. What have you got on your foot? Have you been walking in the fence paint? So, Saturday, we had the pink celebration. We did the pink grazing board for all three of us. We had um, pink bubbles in our glasses and we all did the clink clink. And we had the pink dress code, the pink decorations. It was lovely. It was really, really lovely. Dad. Your photo of a mama. Dad. Stars. Dad. You just want to squash you. <laughs> Daddy's going to cut that for you. Pink party. Pink party today. Eating. Yes, you're eating. Mm. Cheers, pink party. Pink party. Well done, my man. Look at this. Team Taylor. I'd love to do all of that in the Airbnb as well. That's everything on Inside HDDC. Let's go into the next segment before the baby needs to come home and be fed. Very, very close to tea time. I'm going to go into finished objects and then I'm going to go into whips. I don't know if that's the way people normally do things. That's the way I'm going to do it today. This is my first finished object to share with you. This is called Comfit and it's my granny square cushion. Honestly, it's like super simple, but I just absolutely adore and love it and want to make more of them. I actually wrote this pattern up today during Teddy's nap. And so it is ready to be to is ready to be tested. It uses double knit acrylic yarn and it 
I used a 4.5 mil hook. There are 98 granny squares and I just absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. I decided to go with these ties as the closures rather than a zip and it works really well. So you just tie them in a bow. It was for a little while, it was sat on the sofa with it this way up because I liked looking at the bows, but some little fingers, some little teddy fingers kept undoing them. But it does work either way, it looks cute. As I said, I wrote up this pattern this more, this during today's nap time. So that is ready to call for testers. I will put the link below if you wish to test and you can sign up on the form and then I will select them on the Friday and then I will start the test this Saturday, which is like the 24th of August. It's a four week test and I'm hoping that's enough time. It is quite straightforward. So make a bunch of granny squares, crochet them together. And I haven't woven in a single end. That's why I gave it four weeks because if you look on the inside, I decided to leave the ends and that massively reduced the amount of time that I required. I might go back and weave them in at some point because it does annoy me when I find them poking through, but does it annoy me enough for me to spend hours weaving it in? It depends. I might take it as a project one day. You know when like you're rushing out the door and you need something to work on? That's when I tend to get most of my ends done. So I might take it then and do it, but I'm in no great rush. Love it. I think that's the only finished object. I have one more. It's finished, but I haven't written up the pattern. I believe I've shown this on the vlog already, and it is my Granny Square notebook cover. And again, it has the bow closures. It's like a book sleeve in effect. And I'm gonna add a couple more close, like ties to close it, and then write this one up and get this one called for testing as well again i haven't woven in a single end and it's a project to do at a later date when i'm out and about but i'm in no great rush to do that so that's my book sleeve for my planners uh, i'm gonna get that one tested and then anyone that has purchased a planner will get this pattern as a little thank you gift and of course, if you've already purchased the planner, you will get the, the pattern. And these are my planners. This is actually an older one because it has the coil. I do have one that has an enclosed spine, which takes us into whips. And I have been working on so many different projects. I just, I have so many projects in my mind and I just can't help myself. I just cannot help myself. And you know what, that's the best place to be in. And I am fully learning to just lean into that excitement because the more excited I am about the patterns, the more likely they are to get finished. If I try and force myself to work on something when I'm not feeling it, I just get the ick about the whole project and I just end up, it goes into the unfinished box of doom. And quite a lot of those things are being frogged in the background. The next whip is this one. Look at it, so cute. This is my little ruffle pillow. It's two round granny squares. Let me just get this in there. Two round granny squares and then I wanted to put this ruffle around it. I'm seeing ruffles everywhere at the moment and they're just such a vibe and I decided that my cushion needed one. And when you see them all together, like they look so cute. I was working on this late last night and both Brad and I looked at it and we were like, we're not sure on this ruffle. Like, is it too much? Brad said he's not keen, which is now gonna haunt him because when I came down and looked at it this morning, I was like, I love it and I'm keeping it. So now whenever, <laughs> 
when I say to Brad I'm keeping it, he's gonna either have to backpedal or do the same as me and be like, with fresh eyes. Yes, it's a thing of beauty. It's still a whip because I haven't finished the ruffle. The yarn is still attached. I'm deciding whether to add to the ruffle. Can you see that that bit has got a bit, it gives more or to leave it at that stage. I'm really liking that, like it's not too much. I feel as if that is getting a little bit crazy. What do you reckon? Uh, so this has got just a one row and that's got two rows so far. One row or two row, let me know below which one you prefer. And then I'm gonna do the bow closures on that as well. I just really like that as a method. And so the bows will be behind. And then it's got this tiny little cushion in. I'm tempted to take some of the stuffing out of the cushion, like it's overstuffed. I want it to be a little bit flatter. So I'm tempted to just cut it open and take some of the stuffing out so that this cushion sits just that little bit flatter. What do you think to my little ruffle pillow? I think two things are gonna make a difference. Three things. One, how big I decide to make the ruffle. The other thing that's gonna make a difference is when the bow ties go on, just so that it stays shut. And then I think the other thing that might make a difference is when I take some of the stuffing out. I think it will look better a bit flatter. The other whip is my nephew's blanket. I've made the name for it. Other than that, there is nothing else to show you, so I'm not going to get it out. I need to weave in all the ends on the name. I need to steam block everything. And then I need to attach the name. And then I just need to gift it so that it's done because is taking too long now and I want him to be able to have it and use it and enjoy it. Because of the amount of yarn that I used making the blanket, I'm not gonna have enough to make the cardigan. That's probably a good thing because if they need to wait for the cardigan, they'll be waiting until Christmas. There are other whips that I'm working on, but they're either like concepts in my mind or I've just got a swatch to share. So because time is a little bit short right now with Teddy waiting to come home, I'm going to leave it there and I'll share more with you in the next six da sit down vlog. I can share quickly that I've been putting this little thing together and I've been dipping into oh, these to do it. And when people say, how do you get so much done? Like it helps that I just have a great big stack of granny squares there ready and waiting for when the inspiration hits. Which is what I did for this one. I just grabbed the granny squares and put it together and within two or three hours it was done. I am going to tidy up. We're going to do dinner time. And then whilst Teddy is having his bath, I'm going to edit this vlog and I'm going to start on another design that is just living in my head. And then over the next few vlogs, we need to get some of the next bags for the bag subscription finished. Um, so I'm going to share little bits of behind the scenes working on that without revealing the finished designs. So I don't know whether, I think I'm just going to share sneak peeks and then the overall vlog I will share at a later date once I've announced the bags and I also have this one to get finished and out to testing I need to get this written up and out to testing so yeah so cute I really like the idea of doing a leopard print ruffle really like the idea of doing a leopard print ruffle Okay, thank you so much team for watching. Thank you so, so much for every single one of you who shopped my pattern drop. If you're not in a position to shop right now, I totally understand and I thank you so much for sharing my patterns on your stories and for favouriting the items on Ravelry and Etsy. That also really helps. It helps more people to find the my shop and to discover HDDC. And thank you so much for giving this vlog a chance as well please like please subscribe and 
Here is the comment of the week. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you soon. Take care. I think that might be too much and just take over and make it look like a Venus flytrap on, on steroids.